turn down that Gucci onesie. That's amazing, the Gucci. I know. Uh, Could you imagine me in that? No, no, not you. Yeah. I just couldn't pull that off. No, you're fine. I've been showing DRE for a number of years, and we had this lovely lunch, and one of the gallery directors suggested that we do a family show. Mm. Clearly, they're a fan of Louise and Camille as well, and they thought that would be a nice tie-in, and we thought, absolutely, it would be lovely. It would be the first time we've done a show together like this as a family, yeah. and it's at the beautiful um, gal uh, Gallery Paceras, and it's right on the water, and it's a place where Renoir painted that very famous painting as a luncheon party. The island of the Impressionists is mm. what it's, the area is known as. Not everything you do is, is always going to be fabulous. Sometimes you think you're onto something and you're not quite seeing that it's possibly not as good as you thought. And Louise and Camille, even Camille, she she critiques what I'm doing. She'll, she'll see two colours. Oh, both of us, yeah. Yeah, she'll see two colours I'm working on and she'll say, oh, what's going on with that? That's a bit, I'm not sure about that, Dad. So, <laughs> yeah, we've taught her to be like that because we've been like that with her work. I think as an artist you have, it's important to have that critical critical mind and to mm. have that inquiring mind. I mean, to be an artist is to be an explorer and to go on that adventure together as, and that we've all kind of got this creative spirit between the three of us that we share has been incredibly special. Mm. I actually have it pinpointed <laughs> and, and I'll never <laughs> forget this moment. We'd been dragging a poor little sorry ass through exhibition after museum after exhibition. And there was whenever one, we travel, whenever we we're, travel, we're, we're always straight, straight to the photos, galleries. <laughs> straight to the galleries or straight to the you know playground, whichever one. And we've been looking at galleries and we've really been talking about things. And she looked at me and said, Do you think we missed anything? And I thought, I'm not sure. Should we check? And she said, Yes. That's when I realised she was genuinely interested. Yeah. Oh. She's got the bug. Yeah. Talking about you, Milzy. Just <laughs> pushing up the stairs. <laughs> when you, when you looked at that there. Kandinsky painting, remember that Kandinsky painting that you loved, that you saw when we were at the Guggenheim Museum? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you just wanted to keep looking at it and it stayed with it for a long time. I think um, it, it will continue to evolve and morph and change and shock, just as it always has. To just keep that exploration, to keep that exploring, I think naturally Australia will always continue to do that, just in the very nature of this country. My mum always saying, you know, paintings are like windows. They just open up and open up, open up onto so many different territories of the mind, of the being, of our souls, of our so many things, just the way music does.